The jokes are terrible. The venue is bad. The fashion was boring. Okay, that that is unfair. The clothing was safe but tasteful. So what are you wearing? This. You look so pretty. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. No. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. Okay. Yes, it's too tight. Way too tight. Really? This is why I'm here? Why is it so tight? What's well, a European cut. It just looks bad. Um, hey, uh, what's hanging? Send up the webcam for the party. Oh, good. Okay, cool. How many pounds do you think I can lose by seven? Depends how much have you eaten already today. I had a, um, one of those big... Thunder Mifflin, this is Pam. I can be a witch. Uh, just one second. We're in a meeting. I'll see if he's available. Coat! Michael just rented the Devil Wears Prada. He has his Netflix sent here to the office and he watches them in pieces when things are slow. Steak! Where's my steak? He's a big Meryl Streep fan, so I shouldn't be surprised that he's identified with her character. Get me a money. A suit? On the phone. Like the main company number? Because I'm gonna have to call information. Where's Armani? He's on the phone, too slow. You're not going to Paris. I'm so much better than you are. <laughs> I owe you an apology. You finished the movie. Yeah, it was awesome. Big surprise ending. Won't ruin it for you. No, go ahead. Meryl Streep is the bad guy. You never see it coming. Anyway, if I was mean in any way to you, I'm sorry. I just want what's best for you, Manushka. Makushla, he's watching Million Dollar Baby. He's gonna try to kill me. Oh, Daryl, you are Good worker and a good man. I just, you know, times are tight. And I just don't think corporate's going to go for this right now. Are you wearing lady clothes? What? Are you wearing lady clothes? Those look like lady pants. No, this is a power suit. Bet there's a woman's suit. I do not <laughs> buy women's clothes. Would not make that mistake again. I'm gonna call Roy, man. Okay. This is gonna make All you right. feel better. <laughs> this is too good. All right. You know what? <laughs> Pam, would you please tell Daryl that this is not a woman's suit? Oh my God, that's a woman's suit. You're wearing a woman's suit? No, I do. I I wear men's suits. Okay. I got this out of a bin. There were these huge bins of clothes, and everybody was rifling through them like crazy, and I grabbed one. And it fit. So I don't think that this is totally just a woman's suit. At the very least, it's bisexual. Who makes it? Um, mysterious. And it is mysterious because the buttons are on the wrong side. That's the mystery. Yes, it's got shoulder pads. Did you see that line? Okay. Did you see it? Would you stop it, please? <laughs> so none of that tipped you off. It's European, okay? It's a European cut. Michael, the pants don't have any pockets. No, they don't. See? <laughs> Italians don't wear pockets. It's been a really rough couple of days. This helps a little. Hey, maybe you want to come over and read my closet. No, I don't want to do that because I'm twice your size anyway. Yeah, you look uh, like Hillary Clinton. Um, let's just do this in 15 minutes, okay? okay? Can you stay right there for one second? I gotta send some emails. I really love your outfit. Thank you so much for saying that. I can't believe that Toby thinks this is inappropriate. You look like J-Lo. You don't understand clothing, Toby. You're dressed like this amorphous blob of khaki. Well, if I were you, I would just return the surplus and take the bonus. The what now? Branch managers who come in under budget get 15% of the savings. Like a tip? 
$645? I hate disappointing just one person. And I really hate disappointing everyone. But I love Burlington Coat Factory. If you go in there for $645, you are literally a king. What did we learn this week? Well, one, thanks to me, my team is much, much faster at coming to decisions than I thought they would be. Number two, never buy a fur coat with a credit card until you absolutely have the money to pay for it. And three, you should know that some people think it's cool to throw buckets of fake blood on you as you are walking out of Burlington Coat Factory. Michael, since it is your 15th anniversary at the company, I thought it might be appropriate to begin the festivities with a 15-minute round of applause. I like it. Followed by a 15-minute moment of silence. I don't know. Is it classy enough? Jim, enough with the classy, okay? I just feel like after 15 years at this company, bravo, by the way, that we should celebrate with a very classy event, a night to remember. I think you're right. This party has to have all the excitement, drama, and intrigue of my time here. And of course, classy. And classy, yeah. Michael, you're just agreeing with him because he's wearing a tux. Don't you see what he's doing here? Last week, Dwight sent out a memo about the dress code. So this is me showing him that I'm taking it very seriously. Here we go. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You're one of us. Dwight, stall him a little bit to get the fish. Hey. Yes. Really wish you would have told me the new boss was coming today. What? No. I don't want to make everybody nervous. Nope. I mean, I could have brought a change of clothes. Or you look dynamite. What are you talking about? Very slick. Okay. Let me get the fish. He just had to wear his tux today. I thought that'd be funny. Took him 40 minutes to get ready. I'm gonna be at the doll store. Sometimes the clothes at Gap Kids are just too flashy, so I'm forced to go to the American Girl store and order clothes for large colonial dolls. I thought you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding. I know, but there was an emergency. I look really good in white. That's a warrior. I present to you the rational consumer, as it were. I don't like your tone. Look, they were sold out of all the other costumes, okay? I think we all live in the real world here. Let's not pretend to be unaware of what sells in this office.